This is a vintage all wool kind of bright yellow gold colored throw blanket and it sold for $36.99. This is a Tascam MIDI converter, so it converts instruments or microphones from analog to MIDI uh, for your computer. And we got it at a really junky thrift store that had a bunch of electronics. Uh, I don't even remember what we paid for this. It was less than $10. Um, and it sold for $60. This is a lot of 37 pieces of... Echo Eterna uh, canoe muffin type silverware and it's the La Jolla or La Joya I'm pretty sure it's La Jolla pattern with the little pattern there um, as you guys know I've been buying flatware from estates or thrift stores or wherever and it can be kind of expensive when there's this many pieces this is 37 pieces I paid $33 for it about 33, 30, 33, something like that. And um, I sold it for a best offer of 100. I believe I had 165 on it. So, you know, 100's pretty good. So I made a little bit of money on that. This is a men's set of Dickies coveralls or overalls. Um, they are made in the USA, so they're truly vintage, short sleeved. Um, and they sold for $47. This is a vintage hat box. You can see it's got the United States on it. Um, wow, you can definitely see that it's <laughs> discolored. But what's cool is all the images all around. Here, let's see if I can <laughs> show you. Icons of the United States. Very, very cool. Check this one out. Hollywood. Um, it's pretty banged up though. Uh, on the edges you can see on the bottom it's kind of messed up. So we sold it for $40. Still a really cool piece. This is a black leather book cover. Uh, it's probably for a Bible. Uh, we have several of these and we sold several of them. Um, they're quite popular. Uh, and this one sold for $25. This is a very nice leather wallet. It's burgundy and black, or it's just dark burgundy. Um, it looks like it's never been used. It is vintage, um, and it sold for $25. Okay, this is a really weird story. Uh, this is a really unique, funky, weird doll. Okay, made in Japan. It has a tag, but the tag is damaged, so it's kind of hard to read. He's got this weird duck face. It's super weird. I either got this in a box lot at an auction or got it at a thrift store just because I thought it was weird and funky and vintage and who knows. I listed it. I didn't know what to call it, so what did I call it? Vintage 40s, wool-like Japanese red-yellow baby duck small stuffed animal baby doll. <laughs> Basically, I used any keyword that someone looking for this might use. So someone buys it um, for $36. And she writes to us and she's like, I have been looking for this doll for the last 40 years. Um, and she gives us this whole long story about how she had it when she was little and her family like brought it on trips and took pictures of it and like made little films about it and all this stuff. And she sent a picture of hers and it's all faded. Like you can't see any of this color and like the arms have been sewed back on and there's like a big hole right here. Um, and she said she just randomly was searching eBay last night and just, I guess she looked for a uh, red-yellow plastic face doll. And this came up. And it was probably the only one. I couldn't find any that looked like it. Uh, this weird chicken duck Japanese doll guy. So it's going to a very good home. The perfect home. Probably the one and only home that's been looking for it. These are two things that sold today, the only things that sold today. We've had very slow eBay sales the last couple of days. So 
Um, the first one is a book about Salvador Ferragamo, uh, the very famous shoe designer. Um, we had this up for 39 and we took our, an offer of 25 uh, it's a very cool book, but the dust jacket is damaged on the back. Still a very cool book. So 25 bucks. And this is a Life is Good hat. It's kind of cute. It's got the Four Seasons on there. Um, and this also sold for $25. This is a student model of a clarinet. Um, it is not a fancy model. It's made out of kind of like cheap I don't want to say plastic it's like a resin uh, but not as fancy as some that you might see uh, it comes in a case and I bought it for just a couple bucks at a thrift store and it sold for $60 this is a pair of 80s acid wash super skinny men's jeans and they sold for $30 these are a pair of bedside tables. They are made by Lane, which is actually a company, furniture company based in Virginia. Um, these are definitely mid-century, totally gorgeous. Um, we bought them at a yard sale on the side of the road for $25 total. And someone is coming from Craigslist to pick these up, and he's going to pay $250. I originally had these listed for $400 on eBay and on Craigslist, but we are taking $250 because $250 from $25 is great, and I would love to get these out of storage because they're taking up a bit of room in storage. But they are gorgeous. I wish that I could keep them myself, but I can't. So $250 cash is great. These are a pair of men's Ralph Lauren polo cotton and linen pants. And they sold for $30. This is a handmade wooden vintage um, record box. Or it could be a box for anything. But the way it measured, it holds 78 RPM records. And it's quite old. Um, somebody handmade this. I mean, this hardware is incredible. It's so neat. Um, I had it up for eighty dollars because it's pretty awesome. Uh, but someone offered forty-five this morning, and sl sales have been kind of slow. So we were like, ah, let's just sell it. Also, something like this takes up quite a bit of room in storage, so. Um, we sold it for 45 This is the Kohler sink. Um, it sold for $250 with free shipping. I don't usually do free shipping, but I am competing on price with um, these exact same sinks on Amazon. So you get free shipping for anything over 50 35 50 something like that. On Amazon so uh, we bought these for $15 each at a big old warehouse that had to close out um, so 250 the shipping will probably be about $30 FedEx ground um, so that's 220 pretty good these are a pair of overalls they're just kind of generic they're probably from Target or Walmart or something um, and they sold for $25 to someone in the global shipping program these are definitely vintage probably from the 50s or 60s and they are Rosina Ferragamo now Rosina is Salvador Ferragamo's sister who was also a shoe designer um, and her shoes you can find them sometimes. I've only found them once um, at an estate sale, and someone had about three or four pairs, and I bought them all, of course. Um, and I had these up for, I think I had them up for 65. Um, I would have liked, you know, over 100, but they really aren't that popular. Um, but someone offered 45, and I said yes.
This sold on Bonanza. It is a camo hat that has the embroidered logo of Coors Beer. It's a solid hat, not a mesh trucker hat. But it sold for $40. That is a great price for a hat. This is a new in the box um, robe hook. It's a kind of a designer brand, Mirabelle. Um, it's solid chrome. And I bought it for $5. And it sold for $35 on Amazon. These are a pair of women's Ferragamo flats. Very nice. Um, I had them up for 120 and I took an offer of 90 I probably paid $3 for these. These are a pair of men's black leather dress shoes by Borelli. And we've had these for so long that a little while ago I went in and changed the price to... $9.99. So they just sold for $9.99. Um, and that's it. Now I promised that I would show low priced items. So these are a lot of six. Um, 35 millimeter slide cubes. So I think they hold about uh, 20 slides. Um, I've had these for years. A really long time and they sold for $12.99 so I'm happy that they sold I'm glad they are out of my storage now this is a leather riding crop um, we had two of these uh, this one's a little bit damaged you can see here um, but it's still sold for $60 you can see it's got braided leather it's very pretty um, it sold for $60 to someone in the global shipping program. This is a vintage milk glass uh, shade for an antique lamp. Um, it's actually marked. I don't know if you can see this. It says Stiffle 29. Um, so that was cool because that allowed me to add a keyword. Um, to this for someone searching for a very specific lamp. Of course, I gave the measurements of that and this and then the height um, And I actually have two of these so this was the first one to sell and it sold for $60 and That's it for this week. See you next week. Bye